Hi everyone, welcome to another Andy's Travel Blog product review. I'm here today with the DJI Phantom 4 Pro drone still camera, video camera thing. Uh, now keeping up with my other uh, legendary product reviews, uh, we're going to try to put this one through its paces. Uh, I don't really have a lot of like, you know, like I have some lens reviews where I have athletes running around and doing fitness and stuff like that. Don't really have anything today, but I do want to get this thing up in the air so I can show you a little bit about it. This is one of the top of the line drones that DJI has. Uh, it's very, very new as of late 2016, early 2017. I picked it up the other day uh, and I've had a really good experience with it so far. So let's get this thing up in the air and let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the features and I'll, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it. And I'll even show you some pictures, show you some video, stuff like that. Okay, so DJI makes this thing really, really easy to fly. Uh, what you do is, they have two models. So they have the, the, the Phantom 4 Pro and then they have the Phantom 4 Pro Plus, just to make everything real confusing. This is just the 4 model. The only difference between this and the Plus is the, uh, the Plus has its own controller. So I don't have to use like my iPhone or like an iPad or something like that. All I do is I simply plug it into the controller here, uh, and they have the little app, and uh, let's see here. So I'm connected. What it's going to do is it's going to run some safety checks, make sure everything's calibrated right, and then we're going to see how much noise this creates. It should be a little bit of noise, uh, but then all you have to do really is um, just hit a little button here, and it's going to take off. So. It's sitting here taking off. It's gonna hover for a little bit. Now with this remote control, I can make it turn around. I can make it go up. I can make it go down. I can fly towards the camera. And the whole goal is not to, you know, of course, not to crash it into anything. DJI helps by having obstacle avoidance, which is actually going crazy right now on this app. Um, but anyway, so that's, here's the cool part is that it's easy to fly. I don't have my fingers on the controls right now and uh, it's just hovering there, just kind of waiting for me to give it some input. Uh, so I tell you what, let's actually switch to uh, video from the Phantom 4. Uh, I'm going to make sure my settings are uh, consistent here between my A7 and the Phantom. And we're gonna switch to the Phantom, all right, so. There we go. Okay, so let's focus on me here. So what I'm doing right now is I'm walking around and I'm using this to, uh, to see if I'm in focus. And of course, I'm kind of backlit right now. But again, I'll walk around this way. As you can see, it's really easy to fly. I can go up, I can go down. I can even do this, go up in the air a little bit and then tilt the gimbal down and look at me. So I can go you know, pretty high, uh, adjust a little bit and then come right back down. Now again, this thing has uh, four directional uh, object avoidance, uh, unlike my feet, so I almost tripped over something just now. So if I back this up, it's going to keep an eye out for my A7R2, which is here um, on a tripod. So now I'll come towards me a little bit and it'll recognize and it went ahead and stopped. Now, the cool thing is, so this thing is really powerful. So this camera, uh, or this, this drone will fly at 31 miles an hour with full obstacle avoidance on. Uh, and if you take the obstacle avoidance off, if you want to live dangerously, it will fly at 45 miles an hour, which is pretty cool. So I'm trying to get better at flying it. But the cool thing is DJI actually has some pretty cool modes here. So on the app right here, what I can do is I can go into, uh, let's see here. I can go into the application I can click on active track. And then what I can do is click on me. Let's see here. Actually, let me go up a little bit and here we go. So now I'm gonna click on me and now it's gonna track me. So I'm not, I don't have my hand off the controller, but as you can see, the camera is following me around. So. This works great if I'm just kind of hanging out here. Um, I can also make it kind of, let's make it go back a little bit, give it a little bit bigger point of view. So this is fantastic just for walking around. If you want to get shots of like you riding a bike, for instance, there's people at this park walking around uh, with a kid on a bike. Uh, I also use this mode for 
a little running video that I put together this afternoon. So let's take a break and go to that running video. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that running video. And now let's talk about image quality. So the reason, you know, you're seeing a lot of, uh, I, I do love playing with this thing. It's really easy to fly and it's really stable too. But the reason that I like uh, the Phantom 4 Pro and the, and the reason that I went with a Pro over the DJI Mavic, which is the other kind of big drone that's out there right now, the really popular one. Now, the Mavic is a lot more portable than the Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, the Phantom 4 Pro is a little bigger, but it's still pretty portable. But the reason I went with the Phantom 4 Pro over the Mavic is the camera. So the camera on the Phantom 4 Pro uh, is simply fantastic. It's a 20 megapixel camera and you have full automatic, you have, you have full controls, full manual controls rather. So a 20 megapixel camera, let's take a picture real quick. Here, let's uh, focus first before we do that. So we got a picture and the raw files are fantastic. Sorry, I just love kind of walking around and just, you know, it'll follow me with very minimal uh, effort from myself. Uh, but I do love the camera on it. The, the, the camera quality is great. The pictures are sharp. And that's whether I'm taking a picture from right here or if I go all the way up here, it's just as easy to take a picture. And you can actually take it directly from the camera right here. Um, so that's a pretty cool thing right there. So let's go ahead and take a picture. Okay, so now let's come back down. Now, now how long did it take me to learn how to fly this thing? Well, it's pretty easy to fly. Uh, and they have a great amount of tutorials. There's a lot of resources on the internet uh, to fly it. So it's pretty darn easy to fly. Uh, that doesn't mean it's without its perils. Uh, I've already crashed it into a wall um, a couple times and broke the UV filter on the front of the, the drone but that's fine. It's hovering right now, even when it's windy, it's stabilized. The footage is fantastic, as I hope you'll agree. Uh, but yeah, so I've had the, uh, the drone for a couple days now, and I'm getting better at it. I'm not perfect at it yet, but I have, take, I've ta I have taken it around Dallas a little bit. Um, I have grabbed a few shots that I'm pretty proud of. Uh, and yeah, so um, I'm gonna share a couple of those shots with you right now. And then there's this one. And yeah, so I'm gonna put these pictures up at andystravelblog.com if you wanna take a look at them. Uh, and yeah, so my overall first impressions, this is the first drone that I've owned uh, that has a camera on it. I could not be happier. Again, I'm excited about what this camera will give me uh, from shoots 4K uh, at 60 frames per second, uh, which is fantastic. And uh, it gives me a lot of creative possibilities. So I'm looking forward to taking it on the road, uh, looking forward to providing you more content. So if you like this video and you want to see more product reviews or you want to see what I end up doing with this uh, on the road in like Hong Kong or Singapore or wherever, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and leave me comments below, any questions or anything like that. Until then, this is Andy from Andy's Travel Blog. Take care.